Hello, and welcome to Decor It Yourself. With the holidays on the horizon, we want to get a jump start on making gifts for our friends and relatives. What better gift for a wine connoisseur than a homemade wine rack? I'm making mine out of scrap wood and recycled belts. Very resourceful if I do say so myself. To make your wine rack, first cut eight pieces of two by four that measure six inches long and 16 cylinder pieces of wood that also measure six inches. When sawing, be sure to score first by cutting in one direction to create a divot for the saw to rest. We also found these triangular shaped lips and cut out four pieces that are 25 inches long. Take your two by fours and attach the cylinder pieces flush to each end by screwing them in with your power drill. Once all eight are complete, lay four of them out for your base. Take your lips and nail them to the two by fours starting at the ends. Attach all four so they have the same amount of space in between each other. Now, paint all of that and the rest of your pieces. Once dried, take your recycled belts and lay them out on the tops of the cylinder pieces and mark with a pencil where they will be attached. Make sure the belts dip down enough for a wine bottle to fit there. Nail them in to secure them and cut off any excess at either end. For your second tier, take a 2x4 with the cylinder pieces and you're going to attach this to the base with a mending plate. First, tap your screw in a bit with a hammer, then do the rest with your power drill. Do this on both sides of each piece. Next, attach the second tier belts the same way you did the first. Cut off the excess and add a few bottles of wine. And voila! You have a great handmade gift or a place to store your cocktail party stock. When we come back, we'll do a little DIY wine tasting with a special guest. The Watching Threadbanger. Welcome back. Corinne's here to help taste some great wines that would be perfect to put in your new wine rack. And we got each bottle for under $15. Score. Booyah. It's so what's tasty. the first wine? A nice light Prosecco. This would be perfect with the signature cocktail we did last year for the holiday mm. party, with just like a little pomegranate seeds at the bottom. And then you could just add a little bit of this on top if you wanted just something mm -hmm. light. You could do cantaloupe with prosciutto mm. around it with a little mint. Rob makes that, and mm. that's like it's his favorite dish to make. So it's so good. good. Yeah. It is so simple, so light, yet so, good. so flavorful. All right, so what are we drinking next? Let's move on to white. Ooh. Food and Wine Magazine had a special about this wine and how it's like the new it wine. Mm. And it's really cool because like, Meet the new we're it kind wine. of on trend. Yeah, exactly. You know? We're on the fashion yeah. trend. We like to keep our finger on the pulse. Just on taste though, I feel like this would be really nice with fondue. The, the cheese is, it's rich and you wanna have a nice light white wine to kind of cut mm. that. The next wine we're gonna try is a Chilean Cabernet Franc Carmenere called Oops. I love the pairing of like dark chocolate with a wine like mm -hmm. this because this actually has some like chocolatey undertones. Yeah, yeah, this would be perfect with a rich dessert. It's really fun, or like mm -hmm. a chocolate fondue or something. Mm -hmm. Going back, we could just have our whole fondue night yeah. with these wines That'd actually. That'd be fantastic. Mm -hmm. Cheers. For our last wine, we're gonna drink a red from California, Paso Creek. It's a Zinfandel. And this is definitely something mm. that is paired with red meat well. Absolutely. But if you don't eat red meat, something like a portobello mushroom or a meaty type of Absolutely. vegetable. The uh, root different. vegetable pot pies mm -hmm. we made, that would, this exactly. would be great with that. One of my favorite websites is foodandwine.com. You can learn so much information about wine. Fabulous and resource. And perfect pairings. And of course, Gary V, he's hilarious. Mm -hmm. Definitely Wonderful. watch his, his blog about wine. It's, it's amazing and yeah. he knows a lot. And this is so fun with just the two of us. Imagine if you had a whole cocktail party around wine tasting or a girls' night where everyone brings a bottle and you talk about what's in it and mm -hmm. take photos of the labels that you love. Totally. This could be a really fun event. So thanks so much for joining us, you guys. Thanks, Corinne, for joining us. Of and as always, remember, remember your nest needs, needs you. you. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching this week's episode. And thanks to our viewer Rebecca for sending in this cool picture of her side table made out of recycled wine crates. Be sure to check out my blog roundup of cool vino accoutrement over on the Threadbanger blog. Leave a comment, become a fan of Decor It Yourself on Facebook, and I'll see you later.